Our discussion in logic is going to start with the introduction of the basic building blocks of logic, which is called a proposition. A proposition is a declarative sentence that is either true or false, but not both. And what I mean by a declarative sentence is that it's a sentence that states some kind of a fact. Okay, so some examples of some propositions, we'll call this example one, Washington DC is the capital of USA. This is something that states a fact now, whether it's true or not is a completely different story, but in order for it to be a proposition, it's got to declare some kind of fact, and then its truth value will be either it's true or either it's false. But it can't be both or else it's not a proposition. It can only be one or the other. A second example of a proposition would be Toronto is the capital of Canada. So this is stating a fact, Toronto is the capital of Canada. This is a declarative sentence because it's stating a fact. However, the truth value would be false. Example C is one plus one is equal to two. This is stating a fact and its truth value is true. Example D is two plus two is equal to three, that is stating some kind of a fact. However, its truth value is false. All of these examples here represent propositions, some kind of fact and either it's true or it's false. In example two, I'm gonna show you examples that are not propositions. In example 2a, we'll put down what time is it? That is not stating some kind of fact, and it is neither true nor false. So therefore, it is not a proposition. So let me put next to this example. These are examples of not proposition. Okay, example B of something that is not a proposition. Read this carefully. This is not a proposition because again, it is not stating some kind of fact. It's a command. The first one is a question. The second one is a command and there isn't any kind of truth value to it. It's not true or false. Okay, example C, x plus one is equal to is not a proposition because it's neither true nor false. It really depends on the value of x. If I said the value of x was one, then I could say that this was a proposition with the truth value of two. If I said the value of x was five, we could say it's a proposition, but the truth value is false. In this case, because we don't know what the value of x is, it's not stated in there, we can't say that it's true or false. In part D, the same argument follows. I don't know what the values are for X, Y, and Z, so I can't state whether or not it's true or false. If we assign some values to X, Y, and Z, then it would be a proposition where we could state that it's true or false. 